Here's what we're going to do. Uh, Robert the Liar asked, asked uh, Adley. You remember to ask Adley when he was running for governor? You got to remember, I got a little history with Robert. Robert was in the legislature, and we dogged him out, me and CB. And then he got out the legislature. He became our friend. He went back in the legislature and told CB, if you ever do anything like I used to do, you get on my butt. And CB stayed on him. Then he changed the Republican to win his office. Then he knife vitter in them and went with the leftist Democrat, Bill Edwards. And these Republicans like this have to go. But anyway, he interviewed with uh, Aaron McCarty and Robert, and, and, and they did a great job, by the way, at Kill Radio. Well, I got a copy of it. I even called in on Kill. Anybody was in Shreveport listening. So what we're going to do is, and I'm going to get Brandon to stop, because I'm going to stop at every lie, every misinformation, and every piece of him just making stuff up as I possibly can. And that's sure an hour is going to be enough, man. Brand, Brandon, I don't know. It was 16 minutes long. <clears throat> we may not get through a tenth of it oh, because of the things that he said. But anyway, Aaron and Robert are interviewing him. And I just want to go through this because I think it's important because the governor's people are out there lying. And, and I'll tell you the lies, and he's got some whoppers in here that they just won't tell the truth. So here we go, Brandon. All right, here we go. <coughs> We had State Representative Alan Seabaugh, and he was discussing mainly the topic we descri- uh, discussed, rather, was the governor's, what the governor calls, again, the fiscal cliff. Now, as regards to the cause of the fiscal cliff, Senator Seabaugh had this to say. If there is any kind of fiscal cliff or fiscal crisis, it's completely self-created. He says it's all on the governor's shoulders. What do you think about that? <laughs> you know, look, I like Alan. He's a nice young man. But I have to tell you, he, he blames everyone but himself. The truth is the problem was not created by John Bell Edwards. He says the Senate was a problem. It was not created by them. Okay, stop right there. About- stop. I need, I need you to stay with me on this, Brandon. Yeah. Number one is lie. The last mm-hmm. ten budgets have come from the Senate. The House, with Alan Seaball, part of it, have tried to tell Bobby Jindal and Edwards, we got to cut back. And every year, the Senate, with John Alario in there, and he's been ahead of it, he and that team of senators, and Robin Adley was a part of that, they voted for the budgets of Bobby Jindal, including Bill Edwards. That is a lie to say it was not on the Senate. (coughs) It was the Senate's budget. Every single year, because we never went with Lance Harris and Brett Guyman and, and Blake and them. We didn't go that way. We stayed the way. We watched the press beat up the House side. This man, once again, lie number one. Go, Brandon. About raising taxes, that's just wrong. He says they can cut their way out, and that's very wrong. And I'm here this morning, Robert, to prove that he is and to give you pure facts to prove that he's wrong. Stop now, right there. Stop. He's lying again. Number two, he don't have any facts. He don't have any pure facts. He's there to prove them wrong. Listen, as we go through the conversation, folks, listen, he's not proving anything wrong. Aaron and Robert asked some great questions. He goes around them. And when when a politician says, I'm glad you asked that, what they're basically saying, oh, hell, let me figure out how to get out of it. Here we go. Robert Adley, once again, former, I think, senator, was a senator, and now an Edwards Suckerfit. Here we go. I have to tell you, I spent almost 40 years around Baton Rouge in public service, and now I'm the executive director. Stop right there. It's not a lie. He told the truth. He's part of the problem for 40 years. He's big part of the problem. He's been there, and we're having all these problems. We've been hearing about this since Long and Edwin Edwards and the rest of them on budget problems because we have a spending problem, and we're not going to deal with it. By the way, when you hear the biggest whopper of all, It'll have to do with spending and spending cuts. Continue, Brent. He's an offshore terminal authority with oversight of 600,000 to a million barrels of oil a day and rules chairman of the commerce and industry. Bragging about himself right now. Totally different insight uh, to, to what Alan has presented to you. I do think you have to remember what I have learned here. There are basically two kinds of people that come to Baton Rouge. There are those people that come here to build for the betterment of the people they represent, taking the facts and creating a parade to lead. And then there are those that come here and look for some parade to get in front of to better their political career. Stop right there. Another lie. There's a third reason. The third reason is they go there to self-enrich themselves like Adley did. Adley, when he got back in the Senate and won, 
There's a bill number, and if I got to go hunt it up, I will. He helped pass a bill that benefited him selling stuff to municipalities because he's in the oil and gas business that made him a ton of money, and it was his bill, and he got it passed. So, Robert, don't quit lying. Lie number three. You lied. There's another reason people go there, to enrich themselves. And that's exactly what you did, and it's exactly what you're doing, Mr. Adley. Let's go, Brandon. I can't say Alan fits in that second group, but it certainly sounds like it. Well, Mr. Remember Ray, this. It sure sounds like that's let me, what you're let me saying. Say this. Pardon let me, me just. Let me, let me say this. Okay. It's very important. The legislature and Alan created a subcommittee themselves to study what needed to be done. And when the results of that committee came in and they took one look at it, they took off running for another parade. That's a fact. Stop right there, Brandon. Stop right there. All right. He's talking about the task force on structural changes in budget. (coughs) I'm not saying he's lying. But what he's talking about is what I've been telling you for the last few days. The task force on structural changes, the people that were allowed to put people on the board were the governor and the Speaker of the House, Barra, and Senate President John Alario. It was loaded up with big government gurus. Example, let me go through it again. Dr. James Richardson, he's been the head of the Revenue Estimating Conference, which has been wrong almost every single time. He works for the government. He gets paid from the government. Kimberly Robinson paid from, from the government. Okay? There's Jay Darden's on this thing, for God's sakes. Jay Darden is the right-hand man for Bell Edwards after stabbing Vitter. He gets 237500 a year. His retirement would be based on that. Okay? They, and I'm not going to go through all the names cause just for lack of time, and I've been doing it. But you've got three on here from John Alario. You've got two or three on here from the governor. You've got two or three people that work for government. You've got Robert Travis Scott, who I like, and I, I think Robert's an honest guy, but, but he's with Parr. And then you've got Barry Irwin with Cable. Those, those two organizations have not ever accomplished one thing. Uh, anyway, we'll move on. But anyway, the thing was set up, as I've told you many times, with people from the governor's office and the people that want big government, what do you think they're going to come back with? Higher taxes on you and me. Anyway, go. I can prove to you that they know the deficit is there and they know that it was created by Bobby Jindal. Stop right there. Another lie. Lie number four. It was created by Jindal and the legislature and the Senate more than anybody. The one that he just denied. Number two. Bell Edwards' his first budget. How did they balance, folks? Well, I just happen to remember. What was the big complaint about Jenna? Well, he used runtime money and he raided funds. Bell Edwards used one-time money and raided funds in the first budget he ever had. And your boy Robert Adley voted for a lot of the Bobby Jindal's budget. He was a darn committee chairman, folks. This guy right here is making a fool of himself. Continue, Brandon. By the mere fact that they came in special session as soon as they got elected and a Republican controlled Republican controlled House. Stop right there. Stop right there. It's the House, the House, the House, the House, the House. Robert Adley. Ask Adley, or should it be Ask Adley? Ask Adley voted for the budgets. He was a Republican on the Senate side, and they keep blaming the House. The House was trying to do conservative budgets. I had Brad Guyman on yesterday. He was part of that. See what he did? Lie. Lie. That was lie number four. He didn't lie four times. And, Brandon, how much time? We got? We probably ain't got through two minutes yet, have we? Moon, we still <coughs> have 14 minutes left. Of the- hey, they're telling y'all. By, by the way, Aaron and Robert did a great job with him. All right, let's continue with Robert Adley. They went into session and passed a temporary bridge because they knew they had a $2 billion problem of additional penny of sales tax, a reduction of tax credits and incentive deductions, and then totaling a billion dollars. Then they use rainy day funds. Then the governor cut six hundred million. Stop right there, the biggest lie number five. Okay? We governor cut six hundred billion dollars. People listen to me. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you think I'm full of crap. My wife thinks I'm full of crap too. Six hundred million dollars is the fifth lie. We've done two minutes. Robert Adley. Let Robert Adley come on this program or Aaron and my, or Robert's program and tell us what $600 million that Bell Edwards cut. 
Folks, the budget's up $5.2 billion. The numbers are there. How can you tell the people of Louisiana the governor cut $600 million? Where were the cuts? Why didn't we see people going crazy over their cuts? But when the Republicans want to cut $100 million, oh, they can't do that. Look what they want to cut, health care and education. Well, how did Bill Edwards cut $600 million and nobody noticed? Because he didn't cut $600 million. He cut $600 million out of the growth they wanted government to grow to. Folks, Robert Alley, five lies in two minutes. And he says that whopper a bunch. We'll try to get through most of this. Brandon, you're right. We may need another hour. We'll be right back, folks, with Adley the Liar when we get back. Hi, y'all. Welcome back. Moon Graffon Show. Thanks for being part of the program. 844-766-6607. Hickson has a hotline. Robert Adley on the morning show with uh, Aaron and Robert. Of course, Kill Radio, our good friends at 710, and just lying his rear end off. We got him five lies already. We just went barely over two minutes. And uh, I'm just going to continue to play the tape that was done and comment on it because I think it needs to be. The $600 million cut is a lie. He didn't mention one cut because there was no cut. There was no cuts, folks. They didn't cut $600 million and nobody said anything about it. But the Republicans want to cut $100 million and they freak out. They go bananas. You remember using the one-time money? They went bananas, over $100 million. You think Edwards cut $600 million? Nobody said a word. Robert Alley, liar, a political liar. His 40 years in Baton Rouge disconnects, no doubt about it. Here we go as we continue with more lies from Adley. And then the governor brought more transparency into the budget than we've ever seen before. Stop the presses on that. What I knew transparency? that wouldn't take long. Oh, that was a lie. He brought, Edwards brought more transparency into the budget. No, he didn't. Bell Edwards has added $2.8 billion in new taxes. Folks, this thing just covered up with lies. It's more transparency. That's not true. It's no more transparency than when Jindal was there. I could get information now than I could get when Jindal was there and when Edwin Edwards was there. Really. Boy, he brought more. Anyway, let's go next. It was all lost under Jindal, even the House, even Allen, even his Republican friends did that. Stop the That's press is right enough. there. <laughs> Another lie, lie number seven. He never mentions the Senate. Only the House. You, you realize if you read the newspapers and listen to Adley, we have no Senate down in Baton Rouge. All we had was Bobby Jindal and a house full of Republicans, and they screwed the whole thing up. No Senator, not John Alario. Oh, no, not Mr. Alario, the magician. Lies, seven lies already. Keep going, Brandon. That you had this deficit. Excuse me, and Mr. So Robert. These temporary I, I, measures I, I, are going off. I, we got a thousand questions. Okay, <laughs> so if, right. if we need more money and the governor doesn't want to raise taxes and we can't cut our way out, where's the money coming from? That's a great that is a super You question. and me. It's you and me. Question. There he goes. He got All make John Bill up. Edwards has ever asked for is take the study committee that the legislature themselves created. The stop take- the presses right there. Line of eight. <laughs> That's not all he asked for. Mr. Uh, Mr. Adley, let me give you a little history since your 40 years have screwed your brain up. Number one, the first year he passed the budget with one year, one time money. He passed the budget raising funds and raising taxes. He's raised $2.8 billion. What do you mean? The only thing he's asked for last year, his second year, you remember the crazy tax scheme he had, Brandon, that went down? He didn't even, he took his own study. He talks about the study. He took the the cat. Huh? The cat? The cat. Yep. You remember that? The cat tax. Okay, the cat tax. Mm-hmm. That had nothing to do with, with the financial fisc, uh, task force on structural changes. He threw that. He poo-pooed on that. He didn't give a dang about that. He came up with the cat tax, and he got lit up. That's a, See, Ed, he, all he wanted, no, all he wanted was to raise taxes to the higher. higher. Robert Adley, folks, revision history here. He doesn't remember that? This task force thing was out last year, and Bell Edwards said to hell with it. Now, all of a sudden, it's gold. All right, Brandon. Eight lies so far. Go ahead. And that's only three and a half minutes. No, I don't know. Go. Take the, all of the proposals that they made, pick whatever you want. As long as it's revenue neutral within the temporary taxes you, the legislature, have already passed. 
Now, John Bell is a list of those things that, that he's looked at that he thinks makes sense. But at the end of the day, they have to be new changes in a tax structure to make it more broad-based, no differently than what our good Republican friends in Washington believes we ought to do. He's doing exactly the same thing. Stop the presses. That is a lie. Dell Edwards, he's raised tax. When you raise the sales taxes, and that was his proposal, you raise the taxes on the poor of poor, the middle class, and the riches of rich. That is not what the Republicans are doing in Washington, D.C. Why do you keep lying? He's trying to tell you that Dell Edwards is Trump. Come on, man. Your 40 years has really warped your mind. You need to resign and go home. Next. We got we to gotta go to break right now, man. Okay. Well. How many minutes we got through? Four minutes. So we're down to 12. We're down to 12. You know, at that rate, we're going to need another hour after well, today. We're going to ask everybody to drop Rush, might... Rush Limbaugh <laughs> well, to carry the Moon Griffon show. Today might off. be part one. <coughs> Tomorrow might be part two. Oh, absolutely. We're going to get through this because <laughs> eight, nine lies now. Nine lies Ali has told. And I've got the truth on every one of them. He hadn't been right yet. And he, folks, keep listening. He's going to bring the six hundred million back up. Watch. We'll take a break. You're listening to the lovable, soft-spoken Moon Graffon. Nonpartisan. Nonpartisan. Nonpolitical. Most on the air, by the way. Back Moon Graffon show. Most nonpartisan, nonpolitical show on the air today, by far, than any other program. That's right, the Moon Graffon show. It's 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 interesting as we listening to. Uh, ask Adley, Robert Adley, who works for Governor uh, Bell Edwards, who claimed during this thing that he's, by the way, Brandon, when he says I'm a Republican, I might have to say you're lying because he has a, been a liberal Democrat all his life. He changed the Republican to win, mm. and now he knifed Vitter and went with uh, uh, the one term Governor Bell Edwards. So he's on the morning program with uh, Aaron and Robert and Kill Radio, and it was just so many lies. I'm up to nine. Brandon said I only did four minutes. Four minutes and five seconds. Yeah, we got to go 16 minutes, so some may come tomorrow. So let's let's crank back up with the liar himself, Robert Adley. Alan, let, now, me let me ask you this, Alan. Let me, Aaron, 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 let me just share this story with you. This is very important. Because I'm on the Board of Commerce and Industry, I meet with a lot of business leaders. That's come another lie. And I had the opportunity to sit down with the CEO of one of the largest companies in the state who's got plants in Louisiana but got his headquarters in Texas. And I asked him this question. I said, I need to know why you're headquartered in Texas when I know your taxes are less in Louisiana. That's stop. Why? La. Our taxes, our taxes are not less in Louisiana. The reason businesses have just lie number 10. The reason businesses <laughs> have gone to Texas is because their taxes are friendly. It's business friendly. You know, I need to get Rusty Cloutier on here with me again. And he can tell you, among a lot of other people, that when they talk about business taxes, they don't put Louisiana up. Well, Louisiana's taxes are less. The reason that CEO's over there, and I know he's lying on this, but I can't prove this one. The reason that CEO is over there is because of taxes. Now, you're going to hear another lie. Robert Allen's going to talk about they're not over here because of stability. It's amazing. They got a new name, a word, stability. And the stability is that if government has enough money, if government has a lot of money, then our state is stable. This, this is what. Here we go. Go. Is that? Mm -hmm. Good question. His answer was simple. He said it's called stability. stability. He said in Texas, their tax base is stable. Stop we right there. Pay more. Not a lie. Okay. Their tax base is stable. Their taxes are low. Companies can go over there and make money, and by being such a big state and people making money, they have plenty of tax dollars. Why don't we imp – look, if Robert Allen wants to be like Texas, let's get rid of the income tax. Let's lower the, ga lower the taxes on our businesses. Why don't we do that, Robert? You think, you think if Texas – but Texas doesn't have higher taxes, folks. They got less taxes. And I talk to people every day, and I talk to CEO CEOs. And see, I know people here that got the business here that wants to move there. Who was the guy that called, uh, Mr. Begno called, Don Begno said, if they keep raising taxes, he's moving his company to Texas, Robert. Now, see, I ought to call that a lie because Ali's lying on this one, too. But I can't say he lied talking to one CEO. I can't say that. So, But he's wrong about everything else he said. Go ahead, Brandon. In Texas, but we pay more for stability. There is no stability. Stop right there. 
<laughs> the dumbest thing I ever heard my we're paying more for government stability. That is stupid to say that. He makes him look like a 40-year-old fool. I mean, a fool's fool. That's nothing up, folks. That is nothing up. They're paying more for stability. My Lord. Does Robert Adley sound like a politician or what, folks? I mean, this is crazy talk. This man is talking out of his head. Let's go, Brandon. Louisiana. And until you create that stability, stability. some kind of tax reform and restructure, we're never going to have the economic growth, more jobs, prosperity. Families can't plan for their future. They can't plan for the future of their children. Every Louisiana person ought to have the opportunity to achieve their dream. And in northwest Louisiana, above all other places in the state that's so dependent upon state and federal government, we clearly ought to see that. With Barstale Air Force Base, five casinos created by state government, several universities, not the least of which is LSU Med School, and several technical and community colleges that are all at risk. Now, Brandon, stop right there. You notice he named all the government stuff, all the stuff that government's in, including the casinos. Robert, we have an out-migration problem. People are going to get jobs in other states because their taxes are lower. Business taxes are lower. You're trying to increase. The whole time he's trying to increase taxes on businesses. Take more of your income. Take more income taxes. That's what he's telling you, that if you would give up more of your money to state government for stability, if I would pay more and have less take on pay, if my business would pay more, if all the businesses would pay the state government more for stability, we're going to prosper. Our kids are going to leave, stay here. They're going to have great jobs. Folks, you've got to be idiot to listen to Robert Alley and think anything he says is true. This is total idiot talking on the air. This guy doesn't have a clue as what he's talking about. By the way, most nonpartisan, nonpolitical show on the air today. Let's go, Brandon, because it keeps getting worse. Now, look, I served with every governor in the legislature from Dave Trino. Stop right there, Brandon. He has, and he's voted with every one of them that voted bad and done wrong. Robert Robert Haley is embarrassing himself. Go ahead, Brandon. And every one faced the same problem. Robert, let this me, let me ask you Stop right there, Brandon, for the next question. The reason they face the same problem, Robert, is we spending problem that we have. You can't fix it with a revenue problem. Everyone you mentioned got more revenue, and they never fixed it because they didn't fix the spending side. They didn't fix roads when they had the money. They didn't fix the unaccrued liability. They didn't fix the retirement system. They didn't fix anything. They kept everything growing, kickbacks to companies like yours so you can make money, allowing you to go sell to municipalities so you can make money. Robert, you serve with all these people. You ought to be the least one they interview about what we need to do because in 40 years you've accomplished zero except to make yourself wealthy. Period. Next, go. This is, this is where I have trouble. The budget in Louisiana in 13-14 was $22.9 billion. The next year, 14-15, it was $22.6 billion. Listen to this, folks. The following year, $23.1 billion. That's in 15-16. In 1617, Louisiana's budget went to 27.3 billion, and this year it's at 28.3 billion while we're losing population. If I'm a business and I'm losing customers, I don't increase my budget. That's where I, ha- I struggle with this. Excuse me, Aaron. Listen, listen to this. You, 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 really, your perception is wrong. Oh, oh stop right there. Oh, oh, Robert Adley has the right perception. Corruption, spending money wrong, budget problems. People are leaving for jobs, Robert. Aaron McCarty is perfect, good middle class person that goes, I got a problem with this. The budget's increasing. You remember early in the deal? Robert Haley said Governor Edwards cut six hundred million out of the budget. Did you hear any time did the budget go down? Nope. All right, Brandon, here we go. Please correct me. You should be you should be thrilled with those numbers. Oh my god, that's the princess. He ought to be thrilled that the budget's growing as much as it can. He ought to be thrilled we taking money out of people's pocket and we don't have jobs. Listen, who's got the misperception here? Aaron McCarty? Or the great ass were Adley. Ask Adley, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who got the great perception? All right, one more, Brandon. I know we got to take a break. It has 
because that rep, that those numbers represent federal dollars. Increases in federal Stop dollars. right there. Law number 11. That, that, those numbers reflect federal dollars. It reflects $2.8 billion in new state taxes. It reflects, let me tell you something about federal dollars. Then another law, Robert Alley, it, that's, it does reflect federal dollars, but it reflects state dollars too. And watch what he said. He li- Watch the lies in this part of it, folks. I'm telling you, this guy's lying, 11 lies, and then misinformation a bunch of times. Okay, the budget affects federal and state dollars. It doesn't just affect federal money. And by the way, you know those federal dollars? We got matching funds. So to get $3 billion, we got to put up a billion. Where do we get that money from? Robert Adley. I'm telling y'all, folks, this he's a joke. How can that guy have credibility? 40 years of giving us hell. And by the way, we'll be back. This is the Moon Graffon Show, most nonpartisan, nonpolitical show on the air today with lots more. Don't go nowhere. Are listening to Robert Adley's lies. I got 11 lies and lots of misinformation. Brandon gone. I think Brandon said we've made it through, what, six minutes out of 16, something like that? Yep. Might have to do a little bit tomorrow, folks. A little bit. All At right. this rate, you've got to do most of it tomorrow. Yeah, no doubt about it. All right, let's, let's see what else Mr. Adley had to say. Now, the people in Louisiana pay taxes to the federal government, and we have a right to go up and get everything back we can. If we don't, they're going to give it to somebody else. Here's a fact. Stop right there. Stop right there. Brandon? What he's saying, I get sick of people talking about. That means we're a poor, ignorant state that we got to depend on the federal government, and we're not a poor, ignorant state. I'm tired of people saying that. Number two is we don't go. You don't let me let me explain something. We don't have trucks that drive up to Washington D.C. They load the money in the trucks and we drive back. We got to have matching money. So when somebody says we're getting X amount of dollars from the federal government, it's because we had matching either two to one or three to one. We have to put up billions of dollars to get a billion. If we want three billion, we got to put up a billion. If we get nine billion, we're putting up three billion. That's coming out of our general budget. So let him let him keep telling you that. Robert, once again, just a little bit of misinformation. He's not giving you the whole truth. Let's go, Brad. All right, here we go. True fact: the only money. That, the, that Louisiana collects is inside its state general fund. And when you take away all those federal dollars, you come down to $10 billion. And when you get down to $10 billion and you take away all the dedication, constitutional and statutory, the only amount of money that the legislature gets to deal with is $3.4 billion. Stop right there, lie number 12. Folks, if you keep going by Robert Alley's theory, then if you take away two billion and give it to this, and you take away one billion and give it to this, he acts like me and you are not paying any money. The fact here's the fact. Uh the general fund in fifteen sixteen was eight point seven billion dollars under Bobby Jindal. Okay? In sixteen seventeen, the general fund was nine point one four billion dollars, up five percent. This is just state money now. You hear this man crying up at $3 billion. I'm giving you actual numbers. In 1718, it was up to $9.5 billion, another 3% increase. The budget in state dollars has grown by 8%, but it's actually more than that. Because when you combine everything, total state money, here's the fact, Jack. And this is stuff I can prove that Robert Adley won't talk about. Because he's so dang political for Bell, Tax, and Spin Edwards. Let me give you real numbers here. Total state effort. That's everything the state contributes to the budget. That's fees, taxes, everything they take from you and me. Okay, you ready for it? In 1516, under Bobby Jindal, the budget was $16.4 billion. In 1617, the budget was up 5% to $17.4 billion, and in 1718, it's up to almost $18 billion. Now, Brandon, that's an increase. Going back to what Adley lied about earlier, we cut $600 million. Where? When did he cut $600 million? Total means of finance, 1516 was $27 billion. Okay. Under Bobby Jindal, 1516. In 1617 budget, it went from 27 to 30 
$1.8 billion, up 14%, Brandon. And this year, 1718 is up to $32.6 billion, another 6%. The budget has risen 20%. 20% under Bell Edwards, and Adley has the nerves to tell you and tell Aaron and tell uh, all the listeners. Robert and all the listeners and just come up with this bull and this baloney. He, you heard it just now? We got down to $3 billion. We can't play but $3 billion. Folks, why does Adley lie? I'm giving you credible numbers. I stand by mine to the death. He wouldn't stand by it. I just want him to explain the $600 million in cuts. I'm telling you, if you get him on the air, tell him to explain them and list where they were cut. All right, 12 lies so far. Let's go, Brent. This call the state general fund. And here's a fact. This is really important, Aaron. <laughs> the state general fund is less today than it was in 2008. What? Stop right there. Stop right there. Brandon, why does he – it's a lie, by the way, lie 13. Why does he have to go back to 2008? I don't know if y'all know this, folks. We just celebrated 2018. Why did you tell you why they go back? This is what they tell him to explain where's the budget from five years ago, because I just explained it to you. That's a lie. That's 13 lies. I just gave you the budget number. This is real numbers. Robert uses imaginary numbers. Robert's probably the one that got excited about Elio Motors and V vehicles because they never came. All right, let's go, Brandon. Ten years ago, it was bigger than it is. Excuse me, Mr. Robert. Say that the Louisiana government's growing is a false statement. Stop right there. Lie number 14. The state government has grown by leaps and bounds, folks. I, I just gave you the numbers. The state total budget went from 16.4. It went up 5, 8% just from state funds. How can he say this? How can he say the state funds hadn't grown? Folks, a couple years ago, they raised taxes. They did. I forget the name of the company, Brandon, and I apologize. But I've gave it to you before. The state, the state, 50 states, not 57 like Obama said, 50 states, okay? Out of the 50 states, they had $2.4 billion raised by state government that year. Louisiana raised $1.8 billion of the two point four, and Robert Adley tells you it's not growing. The numbers are there, folks. Why does Adley outright lie? Now, I've asked Aaron McCarty, I'm going to come in town about the 30th or 31st. I would love to sit down with Robert Adley across from them, and I want to talk about some of the things that he said. Let's go to the next one, Brent. Second, Doing if, a better job of getting federal money? That's a true statement. If we've got all this money from the federal government, good question. and the budget is nearly $30 million, and that's a good thing, why does the governor tell us we need more money? Be, because inside the state general fund, that's what runs general government. Outside of everything that's required to spend your federal money and all of your dedication. So inside that money of three point four, Brandon, you know that's that's the second time he's lied about the same thing. Keep it going. I'm not even counting now when I'm giving him a break on that one. Second time he lied about that. Billion, we're now faced with having to cut when these temporary taxes go mm-hmm. off. You're going to have to cut one billion out of three point four. Stop right there, Brandon. That- if you, what, what, what's the problem? You already cut six hundred million. Well, show us how you did that. Why don't you just cut six hundred million more? I mean, the last time, according to Alley, he cut six hundred million dollars. Uh, nobody said a word. Nobody wrote an article about it, but they bragged about it, and nobody bickered. So just cut it again, and that's uh sixty percent of what you need. We made it halfway through. Halfway through, and we got tomorrow, and I'm not letting him go, folks. For I got fourteen lies in eight minutes, and not to mention the misinformation. I will continue tomorrow. Robert Adley should not go on a program and lie like he did. And I would love to sit in any audience anywhere in this country and debate him on what he's talking about. And he's smarter than me. Remember, he's been there 40 years. Maybe that's the problem. God bless. See you tomorrow. Open Forum Friday, maybe.